standing water remains in a few low lying areas, but most of it has receded since high tide Thursday. We've also seen people out and about picking up yard waste today, but overall it's a beautiful Friday here and many people in St. Johns County are grateful to have avoided major damage from Milton. Cleanup continued Friday as St. Augustine residents piled fallen branches and leaves on their lawns after strong wind and rain from Milton. But Rick Hernandez says he's keeping his garage protected for now. They're going to stay up till December 1st in the hurricane season. He says his home in South Davis Shores flooded during Matthew and Irma. Matthew had water up to here. Oh, wow. <laughs> So he feels fortunate that his property avoided damage from Milton, but he was nervous about it. It was about four inches over the seawall Wednesday night, and then Thursday um, at low tide, it was about this height here, and that's a normal high tide. So at low tide yesterday, it was this high, so that really had me worried thinking then the high tide is really going to be up there, but it started rising, but really slow, not like Matthew. He says water did creep into his yard. We had water up in here. There was water running down that side of the house. There was about an inch on that brick patio back there where the salt water came in. But that's, we were thankful that's what it was. On the coast, evidence of Milton's presence seen in a smashed shed and some dune erosion. But we came down just in time for the hurricane. <laughs> it was amazing. I mean, the wind was howling, the rain was pouring. I looked outside and it was like sideways. Everything is sideways. So we were a little concerned, but in the morning, everything was pretty much fine. We've had some minor damage, some gutters that dropped and debris, but other than that, it amazingly well. And Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station. The high surf from Hurricane Milton caused three feet or more of erosion at Michler's Landing in Ponte Vedra Beach. Here's a look at conditions today after the beach reopened. Michler's had just had its sand renourished earlier this year as part of the Ponte Vedra renourishment project.